So guys, we are now doing part two of our factory tour with Jacob. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch it now. But in this, this episode, we're gonna see how the movements are made and how the components for the movements are made and how they're assembled and all the hard work that goes into it. Cameras have never been in here before. No one's ever seen this. So this is this is exciting. We are right now in a very special place with Jacob and Valerian and we're going to see how the very complicated movements are made of Jacob's pieces. You could see her actually assembling one of the watches. How this long is, does uh, it take to assemble? It depends on the movement, but if we're talking about the chevron, as soon as we have all the, the parts, it takes one week to assemble it. For one watchmaker to but, yeah. assemble. But that's not cre including creating the parts? No, 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 no. no. only to assemble, assemble the movement. Just to assemble yeah. it. That's yeah. amazing. This is solar so that she's assembled. This is the solar, yeah. Absolutely fascinating. How many parts are in this movement, approximately? Oh, close to 400 for this one. Isn't that something? 400 parts? Yeah, 400 parts. The Shiro, it's about 500. Amazing. All the astronomia is made in this factory. This is the yeah. engine for the Shiro, so isn't it? So this is the, the movement without the case, yes. So those two movements are ready. Looks like an engine, eh? That's amazing. Yeah. It's so, so cool to see it ready out of the to, case. to receive the, the case. And uh, all those uh, five here. Halfway, halfway is made. Halfway, yeah. Approximately 40% uh, ready. Absolutely amazing. Here is uh, the casino. So this is the watch that I won, that I never took uh, <laughs> delivery of. You did, didn't you? I, I did, did yeah. Casino, yeah. Do you remember that, when Michael won the roll? Eight! Oh my God! It's an eight! Right there. Okay. Let me see. I, you got got the I won the watch, <laughs> but that was first bet. It was yeah. the second one, unfortunately. Had it been on the first one, I would have one of these. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, this, really you know, this is the uh, astronomy over there. We have the SF24 tourbillon also. Oil. Oil pump. Yes. Yeah. And this one I haven't seen before. Uh, it's a brand new one. Maybe uh, I should ask Jacob Ooh. to explain for this watch. Jacob, what is this? Which one we see? This one. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is a brand new. Uh, this is first samples actually. We'll be shown this week on the show. This is called The World Is Yours. Dual time zone. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. The dial is exceptional. Yeah. It's actually got the curvature of the world. Exactly. Yeah. Am I allowed to touch it? Yeah. Can you mm. can give it to your hands? Sure. I'm scared. My father gave me when I was 13 years old. Uh, dual time zone watch as a gift and this is where this idea came from and uh, I've repeated it right now. I've re relaunched it. Do you see the back? You see the rest of the world in the back. That's amazing. So nobody gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> Why my country is not on the map? That was just finished you know? this morning. So No, this just finished this morning. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So these are so all the different steps here? of assembly, correct? Yes. yes. Those watchmakers here are responsible to assemble the movement from A to Z. Always. Here you can see some solar movement. Not full, not completely finished, but... Uh, but they're running. They're already running. They're testing them. They're testing them now, yeah. yes. And everything is done by hand? Everything is done by hand. So you even make the little tiny screws? Mm -hmm. He even manufactures the screws here. You oh, genuinely need next. a macro lens to show the intricacy you of really this. Do. It's so tiny. Yeah, uh, here's the small casino right here. I mean, look yeah. at those. You can't even see them on the camera. So this is the tourbillon cage. You can see the main plate, the balance spring, some bridges, the top plate here. You see these tiny little tiny... I, look, there's two in front see, of him. See. Do you see those? How small is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> these are... Screws? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, not screws, this is the uh, anti-shock, we call it anti-shock. You know when the balance spring is moving inside the watch? Yes. If you drop it to the, the floor, uh, anti-shock, the, anti the axis can broke. So this part... Protects it. Exactly. It's about a, it's about a millimeter. I, you, I don't honestly think you're going to be able to see, see it that, on, right? the, on the camera. I would assume he would do that with the microscope, but he sees very well. You could have great eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but go try to manufacture that little part. How do you manufacture that? Right? Uh, yeah, I don't get it. The world's CNC tiniest lathe. Yeah, right? Amazing. That's unbelievable. Please. Thank you. Thank you. So here we do yeah, some fun, encasing. Huh? This is uh, an Epic X. Maybe you can change uh, 
Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, let's, okay. let's do that. So tell everybody what you're doing. Okay, so, so this was, I don't want to call it a prototype, Jacob. Well, the, it was the first, uh, the, first prototype. Yeah. Very first one. The working prototype. That's why the signature was made in silver. White. Uh, white. Yeah. And so then uh, the actual the production was in gold. So that's what you want to change. Right. To change this crystal with a gold signature. Why? Why do you want the production one? Well, I want to I, keep the original one, but I want uh -huh. to put the, produ the, the production yeah? one on because he likes gold. He likes <laughs> Clearly. the signature gold. <laughs> so just change the crystal in the back with the signature. Add some diamonds Michael. while we're doing uh, <laughs> signature. Changer la glace à l'arrière. C'est la même grandeur? Non, c'est pas la même boîte. Oh, this is the. Do you have the crystal in stock? No, this is a different case, this one. Not the same size for the, the glass back. Ah, okay. Uh, so, so, so we, we flew all the we way here. We can check and then come back later if you want to change it. But uh, right now we have to wait. So okay. maybe it's better I to... I can always change it in New York for you once I get the crystal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, it's not a problem. Sorry. Uh, he's not going to leave his watch. He doesn't live without it. So <laughs> I know him. Okay, so wait. I've seen something I want. What is it? How do I get this crown? I have a plain crown. Well, I told you, that, uh, give me back your whole watch and I'll update the whole thing. You heard that, guys. You heard that. <laughs> yeah. So that has the diamonds in it? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. See, I was I was the prototype. But I think a, a sapphire inner bezel would be nice too, right? Well, we're at it. The uh, rainbow. Rainbow one, yeah. Yeah. You heard that too. We'll get that done. It's on camera. Well, <laughs> uh, this well, is beautiful. I think they're all beautiful. Yeah. So the, the blue, that is... This is the basic... This is the content uh, just to, to protect the movement. Ah, so it's but not... Basically, this. no, basically, if you take off the movement, it looks like this, see? Oh, I see. So this is the movement. This is the holder. And every piece is put together by hand. Assembling, of course, by hand. That's what I mean. But the parts manufactured by machine. And that's a finished piece. This is the chronograph. The work that goes into these movements, into the watches, into this. Amazing. Amazing. So this machine so, is now doing this kind of part. Creating that part. Not exactly this one, but this kind of part. So you see the size of the CNC machine to do the smallest part. Amazing. What does one of these machines cost? Uh, close to half a million. You have many of them. Half a million dollars machine. See the, the robot? You take another one. The robot? Yeah. Just testing. Oh, wow, look uh, at that. There is a part, yes. It's placing the, the part on the, the top. Uh, Valeri, how long it takes to program this machine to do this job? It's almost like three, three days. days, days. Three, days. three days. This is three days to program the machine and then to set the machine two or three more days before I get the first one. All oh, the oil is crazy, huh? Mike. Yeah, you have no idea. Nobody would have a, an idea that this is what goes into it. And then you see as well, they can put up to 21 tools yeah. in the machine. So each each machine can have up to 21 stages of the process because they can tool it differently. The okay. robot. So when do you start here? <laughs> right. <laughs> feel more like we're making space parts, spaceship I know. parts. It's, it's incredible. This is all the turning parts here. I mean the screws, pin. Axes, pinion, everything is done by this kind of machines. Can you explain to us how this works? So, you see those tubes here? Yes. Okay. Inside there is a, the material. Actually, it's a stainless steel. So, it's like a, a bar. Goes to the CNC machine here, to this part here, and you can see all the oil over there. And there is tools, cutting, machining, turning, that bar came from over there. This is the world's biggest, tiniest lathe. Yes. <laughs> you know, you look yes. at a, a lathe, the regular lathe, and the chuck is like this big, and this thing is 50 feet long, but it's got the teeniest, tiniest jaws I've ever seen. But this is also precision. Oh, it's I insane. Mean, to a micron. A micron. We are talking about micron, yes. And this kind of machine can work 24 hours a day and uh, seven days a week. See how small is the screw? How many screws are there? One, two, three, there's like 10, 12 yeah. screws there. Okay. I mean, you know it's small when they have to catch them in oil so they don't just zip off. Right. 
Wow. So cool. Here we have more than 140 different guided machines in the factory. And you would use all of those for one movement? We need all of them to do all that movement that we present. Yeah. Wow. So this is the crankshaft that's inside the engine in the Chiron. And it's made in this enormous machine to make this incredibly small piece. And this is the machine right here. The machine that, that, that does it. Um, it it's, it's extraordinary, Jacob. Extraordinary. How does this work? <laughs> you program really? it. Really? <laughs> you put a piece of metal in there, you program it, and it cuts the field. It does it. Basically, it's the same way as the, the CNC machine we saw upstairs. So the bag goes through the tube here inside the machines and all the tools are going to the machines. I didn't look at this. It's rooms and rooms and rooms. It's like endless. <laughs> this one goes all the, those three wheels here. Goes now. It's all here. oil. The electricity goes through this one. The swimming pool is Oh, really? Pool. And Ooh. cut the stainless steel, brass of any uh, conductive uh, material. Incredible. It looks like if you touch that, you'd turn into some kind of superhero. Yeah, probably, but I don't recommend <laughs> or, or you Or the do. Joker. So, see the parts here. This is all cut by the, these machines. And then from here it goes to polishing. The finishing, polishing, and finishing. And finishing. We, put, we, add the, we add the gel, the pin, screws. Imagine there's 400 parts like this in a watch. Yeah. And some watches, my friend, some watches go much more, 600, 650 parts. We have watches like that. Yeah. Oh, tiny pieces. I mean, guys, you've no idea how small these are. And each one is critical to the operation of the watch. Of course. So the patience required to make a movement, it's not one person with patience, it's not two, it's a hundred people. They go through all these little tiny processes for hours and hours making these tiny micro parts and then assembly it. Close my mind. Did you do it, Adam? No. I can either. No. Close my mind. This is the drawing for this part, and here we do the, the polish for the angle here. Ah, it's finished. Plus the satin on the top here. So it's all done by hand? All done by hand, as you can see. First, the CNC machine made a piece. Right. And now she's finishing by hand, putting the uh, polish and, and the satin finish. This is for yeah. the pickaxe Just chronograph. one part. This is one part. Huh? Just one part. There's many parts. A pickaxe movement, it's about 360 uh, parts. 360. And each piece is hand finished. All okay. It's amazing, right? Amazing. <laughs> we do some uh, satin, but circular satin on the top. See here, it's polished. You can see the satin circular. All to make a watch movement, right? And again, you know, people ask, why are watches so expensive? Well, this is why the amount of time and effort each little piece gets hours of work. You know, by the time you make one watch, probably 200 people were involved. That's just From crazy. beginning to the end. So what, so what are we looking at here? So we are looking at uh, a bridge in titanium. And uh, that bridge uh, has been decorated here. So we did all the angle here around the, the parts, polished with uh, a diamond path, and then the, also a sand uh, finish on the top. So you can see here, if you play with the light, see the edges, is yes. shiny. So people are thinking about a case being polished, right? right. The final finish. This is a tiny individual movement. And this is one of what, 400 pieces with inside the movement? Mm -hmm. And you spend how many hours doing this? For this one, it's about three to four hours. Per part? For one per part. part. One yeah, part of 400. One single part. And it's inside the movement. Yeah, you're not going to see basically it. Gonna... So by the magic of television and video production, we now find ourselves in the middle of the Swiss Alps. In a beautiful, beautiful spot. And we're here with, with Jacob, we're here with Alan, and Jacob's going to show us something very special. What are you going to show us? Right, so in this shop, we specialize with Alan 
Alan himself, a very, very talented watchmaker. They assemble most complicated movements in this room. Some of these movements have 900 components. That's so crazy. just imagine, Alan, how long does it take, for example, Twin Turbo Furious to assemble one movement for one person? For one movement, we do more than one month. One month, one person, 900 components. Just assembling. Just to put it together. Not here. making Never the parts. Never mind the machinery to cut, the, you know, to machine every part. All the parts come here already finished and just to bring it together into one watch, assemble it and make sure it works. And that's just one uh, movement. Then we also develop here and we assemble opera watches, which is the Godfather, which I know we have 630 components. And that I think we only com uh, could put together two pieces per month. Yes, not a lot because it takes also a lot of time to assemble and to check everything is perfect. And which is more complicated to assemble, the Godfather or the Twin Turbo? I believe it's Twin Turbo Furious because yes, it's the Twin most, Turbo Furious it's a meter repeater uh, also, don't forget. Right. Twin Turbo Furious has many, many complications. Let's go see it. Together. Please, welcome, come inside. You will see, uh, as you see this first desk we have, bench, this gentleman is actually assembling the Twin Turbo Furious. He's almost in the end of the assembly. Most of the movement is put together. And as the parts he needs, they bring it from the safe. See, he's checking right now. He's checking mini repeater right now. Does each watchmaker work on one movement or does it go along like Only an assembly? Only one movement. Like each movement with one watchmaker. It has to be. He's responsible from beginning to the end. So, so you know at any given time who made that movement, who assembled that? Sure, we keep a record of who, yes, which watchmaker. Sure. Uh, let's say the watch is one out of six. The number one slash six is made by so-and-so. Yes, put together by so-and-so. And he's responsible for the That's amazing. Uh, quality. And uh, this is less complicated Batman watch. And uh, how many so, so is, do you remember? Uh, about uh, 500. 500 per yes, month. And so how many, I think that we can make like what, three or four per month or three? Three per month. Three per and month assembly. How many components does the average watch have? A nice watch. A basic watch, let's say. Uh, yes. Let's say a regular chronograph watch. Yes. How many components? Uh, 300? The, the smaller is about 200. 200. And after basic one is about 200. Yes, basic one, 200. So right. this is double. double more than double, triple. More than Yes. This is triple and Twin Turbo Furious is almost f more than four times the amount. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, there is only one watchmaker because the, is, they have to be careful about each screw, each bridge. Has to be perfect. Yes, has well, to be perfect. As you saw in the other factory, each bridge is finished by hand. So I have, a, I have a question. When a watchmaker is about to start making a watch, does he have like a jigsaw puzzle full of pieces and oh, he then... has technical drawing he has a technical drawing in front of him right and he knows where each part goes where <laughs> because if you put one wrong part in the wrong place you finish not, nothing will work yes. obviously of course alan supervises everything to make sure everything works right since he himself is also a great watchmaker and the more that they do, the more familiar they are with each oh, movement. Yes, of course. On this movement, there is a very particular thing. Uh, there is two triple axis tourbillon, and it's flying triple axis tourbillon. And it's really not usual. 24 seconds for the first tourbillon, 48 seconds for the second tourbillon, and 180 for the third one. As you can see, this one And still, every, every one tourbillon, tourbillon is is inside the, the other. So does one tourbillon power the minute hand and one power the hour hand, or how, how does that work? So energy is connected and go to the two tourbillons. So on here I'm going to show you one rather, of the watches. Rather fancy. Yeah, this is, I guess, we do the diamonds uh, work in another shop. And this was assembled here all made in this shop just a movement unbelievable isn't it wow so this would take how long to assemble well it's three weeks about uh, about three weeks yes to assemble <laughs> So 
So what would a factory tour of Jacob Movements be without a kitchen and a private chef to just end the afternoon in spectacular fashion? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Don't film me eating it. So after touring the factory, we have had the most amazing lunch catered to us by an incredible chef and uh, your hospitality. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And now we're going to look at some finished products in this wonderful pan around this room, Adam. It's just incredible. Absolutely beautiful conference, conference room. room. And I see background video of projections of the, the movement. Amazing, just amazing. So what do we have here, gents? Here some astronomia uh, movement watches a movement the three axis tourbillon the case back in a sapphire so you can see it through this is first mover movement ever that we achieved to make yeah. rotating one minute revolution and you still have three days which is 72 hour power reserve yeah absolutely amazing and look at the speed it's uh, it's not uh, it's just running. It's like a time lapse, right? It's and it's accurate in time, of course. This shows the time. It's always face up, looking at you. The redstone is basically second hand. And this is most important, three ax turbine that's doing one mid minute rotation. Incredible. We try always to create something that has never been done before. You know, pushing the limits. Exactly, push the limits where. Push the limit for this one. I'm sure. This really, he pushed the limits yeah. no. because the secret here is power reserve, and without thickening the watch, there is no extra barrel. There's no extra thickness that needed it to do this. Very clever. And this one, you broke the rules by putting drumsticks as hands. Well, uh, I don't think anyone's friend, ever done uh, that before. This is Michael uh, Calione, no, Michael Blake. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, he's got this new thing. He calls me Michael Calione. Well, you're the godfather. <laughs> you're the godfather in the watch business. So That's so funny. Might as well call you that. That's funny. So then you see the oil pump, you know, from before. Yes. This is also all made and assembled here. You know, from the pressing this button, you have um, this uh, Derex, two Derex. Uh, trying to get oil here. We are actually launching a smaller size this year. This is 49 millimeter, we're launching 43 millimeter. Oh, how nice. Yes, this is the most beautiful, beautiful. I'm taking this. this is... Yeah, this is like a candy. <laughs> Rainbow Chiron. It took a long time to do this, like nine months to select the stones. It is sensational. And then, of course, by the press, pressing this button, start button, you have this uh, uh, engine cylinder working. And you saw the parts today, how they manufactured. I did. This is... So now you have a whole different view of looking at watches because now you see how... What goes into yeah, creating What it them. takes, what it takes to make it. Absolutely amazing. Amazing, amazing. And the dual time zone, dual time zone is so beautiful. This is a brand new piece for you, it's right? A brand new piece. Uh, yeah. It's uh, 43 or 42 millimeter, I think now. And it's automatic movement, also manufactured here. Beautiful and dial. With the second hand in the center. This is the uh, Chiron movement before you install it inside the case. This here, you have uh, Astronomy Sky in black then we have astronomy solar in this case also unfinished movement then we have regular astronomy movement here and then we have here we have the white gold oil pump and here this is very interesting watch this is based on uh, um, uh, South Pole and North Pole and this is a partnership with uh, Johan Ernst. He brought this stone, for example, whatever is on the center, he brought me a rock from the very tip of the uh, Everlast. A piece of it is installed on top. He brought me the water from South Pole and North Pole and this is the, uh, uh, you have some of that water in here Amazing. installed into this watch. This is a very special astronomy. And there's one more thing. 
Yeah. I have to show your watch, the watch that you are wearing. <laughs> so this is something that the world has never seen before. Right. Nobody's never. ever achieved never this. Never seen. We donating this uh, watch, this first very first movement to uh, only watch this uh, fall. This is the prototype actually. So but this, this is this, the this is four acts. First four axis turbine, correct? Yes, it's a world first four axis turbine, yes. And Axis. it's rotating once a minute. What an achievement. Well, gentlemen, I cannot thank you enough. This has been a mind-blowing experience. Um, uh, thank you so much for the, the, the hospitality for and, and showing us everything. It's Again, pleasure. cameras have never seen this before, so this is a, 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 another world first. This, this we was thank time you, for Jacob. you to see, yes. This was a great day for you to spend on And. There's another episode following this one of some other goodies. So we'll, exactly. we'll, we'll get one, to that one, one next. One stop, yes. So we hope you enjoyed this. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. We're in it to win it. This won it. Bye. <laughs>